It's time to put the camera on the robot and forgive me, I've used electrical tape and it's a bit of a crude solution but it works and a 3D camera print has been opened to print it again so let's take it to the back garden and give it a spin, shall we? As you can see I took the robot to the back garden to give it a go and I'm not stretching the image itself uh, from the camera feed uh, to kind of give you the Know, the sense of the resolution you will be giving. The image was uh, smooth throughout and you can uh, you know um, easily see everything and where you're going. The big bonus is to see both of the tracks on each corner of the video in here so you actually know how wide your robot is and where it's gonna fit. That's a big advantage. And uh, yeah the stream was great. Uh, the resolution itself, like I say, it's 480p, it's nothing nothing to be impressed about, but it is a 60 uh, frames per second feed and it's smooth enough to, to get you going wherever you want. If you want to record the uh, footage from the robot itself, I strongly recommend you using another camera. For the next part I need you to put on a VR headset if you have one, if not, you can at least enjoy my efforts at trying to record some footage which will give you a true feel of the camera's capabilities. For this clip, I simply arranged a couple items on my desk at different distances from the camera and with the VR headset, you can clearly feel the 3D effect. When it comes to movement in the video, I think the simplest of tests can be an object moving towards or away from the camera. And in this case, you can clearly feel the object moving towards you or away from you.